so now that the new oil pumps on we're gonna go and put the timing belt on the front of the engine so the only thing I have left to do is you gotta torque your timing belt tensioner you're gonna want to torque this to 26 foot-pounds it's 26 make sure you put some Loctite on the back now we're gonna have to set the hydraulic tensioner you don't want to tighten this alternate the bolts back and forth goes in evenly I'm actually going to step it down because it feels like too much. I'll go 15. So now when you go to put your timing belt on, you want to make sure I have aftermarket gears. The Toyota gear will have a mark on it as well. You want to make sure this mark is lined up with the indent on the back of the timing cover, the rear timing cover. You also have one on your crank pulley and the oil pump. This little hash mark needs to line up with the dot on the oil pump exactly so mine's actually a little bit off right now so i'm gonna adjust that did i wonder so the timing belt is a really tight fit on this so i had to stop recording it took two hands but after you get it on sometimes the pulleys will move so just make sure all your marks are still lined up now before i pull the pin to set the belt i'm just going to double check the torque on this bottom hex nut for the tensioner it's supposed to be torqued to 26 foot pounds Make sure you have Loctite on there. We're good. Make sure all our marks are still lined up. Looks good. And then once you pull this pin, set the tension on your belt. As you can see, it's pretty tight. It's not coming off. And that's it for the timing belt. Now we'll just throw the covers on. After you get everything together, you're going to put your lower timing cover on. Just make sure that this washer has the dull end facing in towards the belt so you don't shred up your belt. This does go on only one way. It sucked to have to take this thing back apart. Still gotta be too tight, you don't wanna crack the plastic. I got them all kinda hand tight right now. Now we can go ahead and put the 
middle and upper timing cover on. All right, so I went to go put the middle timing cover on, and unfortunately, I noticed you gotta put the belt tensioner on, which is these three bolts before you do that. So we're gonna do that right now. It's like a puzzle. Started by hand. Get it resting up in there. This look like a twelve millimeter. These get torqued to 14 foot pounds. Just want to snug them up. Torque wrench. See if I can get just this deep socket in here for the torque. And you don't really like, want to use extensions on a torque wrench. Give her the quick once over with the ratchet. Now we can go ahead and install our middle portion of the timing cover. So whoever owned this motor before me actually converted these to Allen head bolts. So I'm not going to torque these, I'm just going to tighten them up with the ratchet.
And this one looks like I'm going to have to get with an actual Allen key. Because it's too deep in there. Yep, so we'll get that one with an Allen key, we'll put the upper one on. <laughs> 